All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. So I've got a really cool PSA return for you guys today. You guys might remember I cracked a couple cards out of their BGS cases. So a Topps Foil Charizard, that was a BGS 9.5, and that was, I believe, a blue label Topps Foil Charizard. Or maybe it was black, whichever one came first. Um, then I also cracked out a BGS 9.5 Evolutions Charizard, and I also cracked open... A Blue Eyes White Dragon uh, from a starter deck Kaiba. I think I posted that video as well. If I didn't, I'll have to post that. But those three cards are in the submission. So three pretty risky cards to send in. I forget which tier I sent this in. I think it was like $50 per card was the price of this. Um, but the interesting thing is I didn't tell you guys this in the unboxing video or in the cracking video because I didn't want to spoil it. I had already sent the uh, Charizard and the... Uh, Evolutions Charizard, so the top Charizard and the Evolutions Charizard, I already sent them via PSA crossover grading in the BGS cases, and they said they didn't think they would grade higher, so they just sent them back, charged me the full amount, total ripoff. This time I cracked them open and sent them in separate. I didn't say that in the last video because I didn't want them to be biased and say, oh, we already looked at these, we're not going to uh, grade it on the off chance that they did see my video. So let's go ahead and go through these cards here. So first up, this is going to be the Evolutions Charizard. This is the biggest disappointment of the submission. So, like I said, this was a BGS 9.5. For some reason, they dropped it down to a PSA 8. I have no idea why. No clue. Really solid Evolutions Charizard. Somehow, some way, this bad boy dropped to an 8. I don't know if I damaged it when I was opening it or what the deal was or getting it out of the case, but this is the only one that dropped. Blue Eyes White Dragon from Starter Deck Kaiba, fresh from the, t fresh from the box. Ooh, this is big. Receiving a PSA 10. What a gorgeous card. I think I've cracked three or four starter deck Kaibas now. All of them have gotten a nine up until this one. This one finally completes my Blue Eyes collection. Well, it doesn't complete it. I still need a DDS Blue Eyes, but gorgeous. To get this in a 10, I think $1,500 to $2,000. Very, very pricey card. Very hard to get a 10 on any Yu-Gi-Oh card. So that was worth it. I think you can get a starter deck Kaiba for around 500 bucks. And the final card, it is a black logo, Tops, which I believe is the first. And this is the flame overlay. It's got the flame texture to it. PSA 10, baby. And I've seen these listed for about $2,000, $2,000, $3,000 as well. Beautiful. So, Interesting. Like I said, this was a BGS 9.5, it got a 10. This was a BGS 9.5, it got an 8. And this was case fresh from the, uh, from the starter deck Kaiba. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is probably my favorite three-card submission. Actually, my favorite submission ever. These two cards are two cards I really wanted to add to my collection. This is now my third Hollow Tops Charizard in a PSA 10. Um, but it's the only flame variation. You guys can see those little textured flames. Gorgeous submission. I, I still need an Evolution Charizard in a 10, so if anyone has one that they're willing to sell, hit me up. Um, but what do you guys think of this submission? Really good crossover. Let me know. Like and subscribe. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Pokemon signing out. This is a great thumbnail right here, isn't it?